Hi everybody, it's Brexit Brian. I'm outside down in the street. Uh, for some reason, the crowd that was at Parliament Square uh, decided to move. There were some people at the front that were saying, come on, Trafalgar Square, Trafalgar Square. And uh, several thousand people moved eventually. So ha now we are here with the uh, stragglers, the people that are left. Uh, I estimate about over a thousand at least. Over. Uh, they're all uh, standing here. Now, you've got these barriers here. And nobody's getting over these barriers. Uh, the very most that can happen here is a couple of uh, missiles are thrown over of some description. Uh, myself, it seems a little bit set up. It's not a real demonstration at all. No, it's not. Let's be quite blunt about it. No. Now, yeah, what do you think? Look at this idiot. Look at this idiot with the camera. Look. Look at them. Traitors to the people. Why do you think they're traitors to the people? They're protecting Boris Johnson, who's killed all our elders, and who's been here trying to destroy it. Right. So, you, so you have an issue with Boris Johnson, yeah? Absolutely, yeah. But if you sat in front of me now, I'd strangle the mask. Right. Well, I, I hope all goes well for why you came out here tonight. Why did you come out here tonight? I came out here tonight for my children and my grandchildren, my grandchildren. You've come here on a demonstration for your grandchildren. Well, that's fantastic, darling. I love, I love your morality. What would you do with the police force that we've actually got then? How would you change them? What, what difference would your ideas make? I would actually give them a, I'd give them a higher wage. I'd raise their salary. Do you have sound on that, mate? I would treat them with respect. Mate, do you have treat sound on that? Beings. Sorry, bro. So, sorry, sorry. Treat them as human beings. Do you have sound on that? And, yeah, and just treat them fairly. A good moral work and practices reward them because they're not you know they're all under oh, right, under right. they're all under pressure to pay their mortgages yeah. to support their kids and that's right, the only right. reason why they're still well, doing thank this you very, thank you very much sister thank you very much for your opinion and up the right wing cause uh, that bloke that came forward there uh, deliberately tried to stop me interviewing that woman. Uh, what, he, what he was asking from that police officer was nothing. So here I am, I'm, I'm in the heart of Downing, well, I'm outside the gates. Uh, you've got the, the camera crews, uh, you've got people blowing whistles. I've got my mask in my bag, but most of these aren't wearing theirs, neither. So, we've got a noisy crowd, but they ain't doing anything, apart from blowing whistles. Joseph, I, I got your messages, but I can't answer them when I'm busy, when I'm doing stuff, obviously. Uh, when I get home tonight, I'll uh, respond to any messages. Uh, thanks for watching me, bruv. Okay, this is really just a noise, so I'm going to leave it. Uh, sorry, then. All right, Rex and Brian, love you. Uh,
coming from outside Downing Street where a vast majority of the crowd has moved on and there's a good thousand or more left outside Downing Street here now sort of shouting and blowing whistles uh, there's nothing they can do physically because there's these big barriers not that I'm advocating that uh, but that's a no-show Brexit Brian loves you. Thank you for watching.